Hello, welcome to Lush for Laura. I'm Laura and today I'm going to be doing a Lyanna Stark from Game of Thrones makeup tutorial. I'm not going to even say that it's an inspired look because she isn't part of the actual narrative in the show and actually in the book also, only part of the history. So this is all with my own imagination and that, my friend, is where the truth is. So first of all, I'm going to, after doing my foundation routine, of course, and priming my eyes, take this, oh, okay, take this pink almost white eyeshadow and then with a flat eyeshadow brush I'm going to be tapping this on my lid and I choose this color because it's a cold color it's a cool tone and it's almost white which will enhance the paleness of the concept of the north okay so you can see that it's it's almost white, but it's pink. And I'm just gonna flip this brush over to the other side, and then pick up this vanilla color over here, this vanilla color. And you can tell that I love this color, both for a highlighter and also for an eyeshadow. It's just one of my favorite eyeshadows in this whole palette. Just gonna put that underneath my brow. And with a fluffy brush, Yes, I'm going to be picking up this light matte grey eyeshadow to define my crease and this grey is going to represent the grey dire wolf of House Stark and also the grey stone castle walls of Winterfell. I'm not going to be too heavy on this because I'm still trying to keep this look quite natural and if you put a lot of grey it's going to be a bit too dark and it won't look bright at all. So. You can see the red crease is a bit defined there. It's not especially dark. However, on the outer corner, I'm going to be picking up the darkest grey that I have that is still matte. And then I'm just going to be putting it at the side. You can tell that it creates even more definition at the side. And I actually went more grey than I would have liked. See, this side is not grey at all. So what you do in this situation is very simple. There's not a lot of technique to it. You just have to keep on blending and blending and blending until it just sort of fades. And even if it's not as light as the other side, you might actually have to add more of the pigment to the other side of the eye just to even it out. I'm even going to use my finger to rub some of the product out because I did my other eye in front of a mirror, whereas here I'm doing it in front of a computer screen. And I just tend to put more eyeshadow when I look at the computer screen or the computer camera because the lighting is a bit different and it makes the eyeshadow stand out less. So there, I have a grey definition. Let me just check. Just check. No, no. Okay, so there's not there's not much more I can do with this. I'm just going to add a bit more to this side. Only a little bit because you know how overboard it can go. And then just put it to the other side and that's how you rectify the problem really is you just sort of blend and add and erase and blend and add and erase until everything is even and equal otherwise it will look horrible so for the sake of this video I'm just going to be blending that out later after I finish this whole video okay so the next step I'm going to do is just to get a brown eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to be adding to the outer half of my eye and I'm going to be blending it with an angled brush because I still want to keep this look fairly natural so I'm not going to overload on the eyeliner okay then with this angled brush I'm going to be picking up that grey and then just lining your eye with it and you can see that on both sides this eyeliner looks a little bit clumpy because I just haven't blended it out with my magic fluffy brush so I'm just going to blend it out careful not to let it touch the actual eye just blending 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 until it fades and becomes part of my eye so to say 
Okay, so I'm going to be getting a white eyeliner pencil and lining my waterline and this makes a lot of difference in your makeup. It just makes everything look brighter and more crisp. I do this every day. Very rarely would I choose to do a smoldering black waterline. You can see that it makes a really big difference. It makes everything look more crisp and better. Okay, so after I've done my eyeshadow, which I have, I'm just going to be taking my eyelash curlers and curling my lashes. And with a black mascara, I'm going to be applying to my lashes to create nice thick lashes. Yay. So I'm just going to, oh, baby hair getting in the way. Be brushing this into my lashes and my other lashes too. Just quickly brushing it before the curliness sort of droops. Just locking it in position. Locking the curls. Mascara is kind of like hairspray for your eyelashes. And then I'm not going to neglect my bottom lashes. Just going to... And it's the last step. In order to keep this curl, because what I find is that because my eyelashes droop down and they're not curly naturally, after I curl and apply mascara, they just droop throughout the day and one eye will droop quicker than the other. So I'm going to have one curled and one drooping. What I do to avoid this is to apply it on the top bit of my lashes too and curl it outwards so that it's coated on both sides of my upper lashes. And that is going to really lock it into place. So, so after I finish with that, I'm going to be taking the pinkest blush and applying it to my cheeks because I want to look like I'm pink from the cold weather of Winterfell. And also she's quite an active sort of character so she's going to be flushing and blushing a lot from all the pretty athletic activities that she does, such as horse riding. I'm going to be double checking with the mirror that I'm not going overboard with the blush because what tends to happen is that it looks really nice on camera, but then in real life it's just like whoo, clown face because the camera sort of makes the color less intense. And for a highlighter, I'm not going to be using one of these highlighters, but I'm going to be using this soft pink blush. I'm going to apply it on just where my cheekbones are. Okay, maybe a bit my cupid's bow. <laughs> maybe a bit down my nose. Just to give me a very nice pinkish glow to my face. A good way to tone your blush down, and you can see that this side is a bit stronger than this side. And trust me, in real life, it's very pink right now. But this side is okay, it's perfect. So I'm going to be taking the remaining powder that I have not yet finished, because I only use half of it when I after I do my foundation for this purpose. Is that I take it on a brush and I sort of neutralize it by powdering over it. And I powder my whole face together. This layering just kind of locks everything in. So I can take a nap throughout the day and I would still have my blush and everything still on my face. There are no need for refills. That is pretty much it. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. Hope this sort of conforms to your idea of what Leanna Stark would look like. And see you later.